Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day and thank you for tuning in to Art with Miss Myra. I hope that you all had a great night last night um, and um, got up this morning and you're out enjoying some of the nice warm weather that we have and stuff. It's a little bit overcast here today, but it is nice and warm um, temperature wise. So I hope that you you all get out and enjoy um, and, and go out for a walk today and, and uh, check things out and and just have a, a great day today so um, our project today is actually we're, we're going to talk about the virtual spirit week so for those of you that are following me um, this week um, and today is is a Thursday March 26th I don't know if I said that or not it's, it's Thursday March 26th and virtual spirit week has been all week this weekend so we've been doing different themes and dressing um, different ways and stuff to fit in with those themes um, so today for virtual virtual spirit week um, is wear your favorite color so I my favorite color is purple so I've of course I'm all decked out in purple today um, and I hope that you guys are having fun with that this week also um, and, and you're having as much fun with it as I have been having so today's project is we are going to be making this little yarn wrapped bee and he is just a really cute really fun little guy um, that I want you guys to make um, he's super easy and super quick this is gonna be a really quick little craft um, that you guys can do um, and he's just he's just a happy little guy so that's that's why I decided to make him um, and so that's what we're gonna be working on today the supplies that you need for this project is you will need an empty uh, toilet paper roll you will need construction paper you're going to need yellow and white if you do not have construction paper that is not a big deal kids um, you can take white paper and you can um, just cr you know take crayons and color your paper um, don't don't feel like if you don't have construction paper you can't do this because there's always ways of substituting um, what you what you um, might be missing in stuff for for this but that that it's you know one way of, that we can do that okay so we need markers um, black yarn um, and again, if you don't have black yarn, it's not a big deal. As long as you have a black marker, we can we can do this to have the same effect. Okay, googly eyes um, and glue, and um, I'm gonna say optional um, is gonna be a pipe cleaner and stuff, a black pipe cleaner for the little antenna. But um, that's not a big deal either um, because if you don't have that, we can just take a strip of black paper, um, and I'm gonna show you a special way of folding it. Um, so it's not, you know, because if we if we put it a uh, black piece of paper just and want it to go straight, it's not going to do that. So I'm going to show you a special way of folding the paper, um, so we can have kind of an accordion effect and 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 we can get it to stand up a little bit more. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, and so we're going to get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera down so you can see my workspace and we're going to take our we are going to make the little head first okay because there's a lot of gluing on this um that we have to do if we're doing the googly eyes and stuff and we we want the head to be first so what i what i did it to make the head is i i took a little um cup that i have it's just a little juice cup because i want this to be perfectly round and I'm just gonna draw my outline around my little cup. And then go ahead and cut that out with a paper scissor. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black marker and we're going to, I'm going to um, decorate this like um, we, like you don't have googly eyes. So if you don't have googly eyes, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to draw the little eyes on there. We're going to draw a circle and a circle for the eye and then just draw the little black part of the eye. Okay, so just 
just like that. We can just draw our little eyes on here, okay? And then we're gonna make him have a really big wide smile because he is a happy little guy. And that is how we're going to decorate the head, okay? So now, oops. Well, he's gonna have to have white antennas because <laughs> I didn't set out the black in or the black construction paper. So this is what I'm talking about. If we're gonna fold accordion style and make his uh, little antenna, we're just gonna do a little strip of paper, okay? And then you're just gonna carefully, you're gonna start folding, uh, you know, folding this accordion style. So does everybody understand what I mean by accordion style? We're just gonna fold one way and then the other way and just fold up and down and up and down and I want to leave a little and we want to want to make it like this okay so it's it's accordion style all right and so this poor little guy is gonna have white antennas sorry about that guys he'll be unique so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this this is why we do the head first because we're doing gluing on the head, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing with, with this one, okay? I'm just going to fold first one way, then the other way, then one way. I'm going to make like a little accordion. Okay, so it's just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on here. And then I'm gonna glue him on the top, glue that on the top of my head for my little bee, and there he is, okay? So I'm just gonna set that up here off to the side because I have some other things that I have to cut out, okay? So now we're gonna take our toilet paper roll and we're going to um, you know, decorate that with either our construction paper or our um, colored paper that we have colored, our white paper that we have colored and made to be yellow, okay? So what I want to do here is I just want to lay my toilet paper roll down and I want to measure up and, and just make a little line here to show how high that is up. So I, I wanna cut there, okay? And then I just happen to know that I need seven inches to go around my toilet paper roll. So however far up you have to go, you know, tall wise, okay, to make it tall, and then seven inches. So then I wanna go ahead and cut that out. And you can get more exact than me and stuff. I just kind of eyeball things, but if you need to take a ruler or another piece of paper so you can get a perfectly straight line, go ahead and do that, okay? So, let's make sure that I have enough to totally go around this little guy and make his body. Yep, I've got enough, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it like this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my glue and just put a good amount of glue right here and then press down. And you can put your fingers or your thumbs in the inside the roll and kind of press, you know, together. So um, we've got a better seal. And then we're going to wanna to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and put a good amount of glue here, just like that, and then press up. Okay, and then there's my body. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn and if, like I said, kids, if you don't have yarn, it's not a big deal. 
we can actually just take a black marker and we can draw the two lines um, for the body on our little uh, on our little bee. Okay, so don't worry about it if you don't have um, yarn. You don't need to have yarn to do this project, and um, you can you can just uh, you know draw them on and stuff with markers. Okay, so I'm gonna cut about 10 inches or so. Um, of, of black yarn and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a thin bead of yarn all the way around just perfectly around my little body of my little bee and then I'm going to just press that yarn into it. And don't feel bad if you need to add a little bit more glue. That's okay. If you need need different areas of that yarn to stick down. I just want it to stick around so it can go all the way around. And just make a little band just like that okay and we're gonna do another one and we want them to be pretty close to the bottom because we've got to put our head on and our wings on so we want to have enough room and for them so so this is just an interesting fact, kids, okay? In the state of North Dakota, we are rated number one in the whole entire nation for production of honey. And the reason why we're doing this little project today for of, of a bee is we are getting to, it's getting to be spring here, and pretty soon we're going to um, be out and planting uh, flowers and in our gardens. And we all need bees to help pollinate the things that we have growing in, in, our, in our gardens and for our flowers. So bees are very, very important um, to us. And um, uh, they're, they're called pollinators. And um, that, is, that is why you know, we're, we're doing this little bee project today and stuff is to kind of showcase that, that in, here in the state of North Dakota, like I said, we are number one, rated number one in the, in the whole entire nation for um, honey production. And then you know, bees are very, very important um, because to get all of the food that we eat, we need bees to pollinate the plants um, to grow um, and um, to, you know, to grow crops and, and different things and, and in our gardens. Um, and if we didn't have bees, that wouldn't be happening and, and, and it would be really a, a bad, bad thing. So bees are very, very important to us, okay? So now I have got my two, two uh, black uh, lines on my, on my body of my bee. And so now what I'm going, and I've got my head over here, you know, that's still drying. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my white construction paper, my white paper, and I'm going to, with that same um, little cup that I had, or same, you can take a lid off of a, um, you know, if if mom lets you go go ahead, or grandma lets you uh, take a lid, you know, off of a of a of a little jar or a bottle or something and stuff. You just want to have a perfectly round um, thing that you can draw around and stuff and make our little templates for our little circles that we're needing for this, okay? So that's why this is such an easy little project is because we're just, we've, we're utilizing things, you know, from around the house that we have, and we're just making a cute little project with this, so. Okay. And this is how I'm making the little wings. The white part is the little wings. Okay, so there's one little wing. And 
and there's two little wings, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to the body of my, of my little bee, and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue just on this side of my wing, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue him, glue it on right here, position it right here on my the body of my little bee. Okay, and now with the second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to just put glue on this side, on the very edge, I'm gonna rub some glue there, and then I'm gonna kinda of overlap my wings in the back a little bit, just about like this, and then I'm just gonna press, press down. So now I've got my body and I've got with my little yarn wrapped um, uh, lines here, you know, my, my, the um, body part of my, of my little bee. And now I'm going to put my head on. And so I apologize again, these should be black and, but you can do the same thing with the black as I showed you with this, this, the little white paper and stuff. You can do the same thing. You can do the accordion and then they'll stand up. And so now I'm going to glue my head of my bee on and I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue just on the bottom edge, okay? And then I'm going to position it and press that on. Okay, and there he is. So I hope that um, you guys had fun with your projects today. Um, and like I said, um, don't worry about, um, if we're ever doing a project, kids, and, and I will try to always give you substitutions for things that you might not have, okay? So like today, you know, I realize some kids probably don't have the pipe cleaners or the googly eyes, so we sh I showed you a variation of what you can do and stuff with, without those things. Um, if you ever have any questions on any substitutions um, that you need to make, please feel free to contact me and I will try to give you as much help as I can. Um, and then we're going to review for t or go over what we're doing for tomorrow. So tomorrow, if you are following me for the Virtual Spirit Week, um, tomorrow is wear your school shirt. Um, so I'd like everybody to you know wear their, their school shirt tomorrow. Um, and then because tomorrow is Friday, we are going to be doing Fun with Fiber Friday. Um, because I am a fiber artist, I'm going to start showcasing um, some fun fiber projects that we can do um, you know on Fridays and so tomorrow what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do uh, paper roll or uh, toilet paper roll knitting okay and so I'm gonna show you how to knit using an empty paper toilet uh, or toilet paper roll <laughs> so what you're gonna need for that is you will need the um, empty uh, toilet paper roll you're gonna need some popsicle sticks um, you're going to need some yarn or some t-shirt yarn and um, you know earlier in a, in a project um, I had you guys cut strips of t-shirt um, and then make that into yarn um, so go back and review that video if you need to know how to do that um, but if you don't have yarn um, you know that would be something that you could use is, is that uh, 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 t-shirt yarn um, so we can do that project with that. So I hope that you all join me uh, again tomorrow for Art with Myra. Um, and thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.